I'm Patricia and welcome to FIT's Unconventional Minds. Today we have alumna Alex with us from Alginit. Welcome, Alex. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks for your time. Thanks for being here. So since your time here at FIT, you've gone on to found Alginit, a biomaterials company that combines science and design to create textiles. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so Alginit is co-founded by myself uh, as well as Aaron and Tessa. Um, Tessa also graduated from FIT. Um, and since, uh, since her time at FIT, we have gone on to build Algenet to where it is today, um, which includes you know, uh, hiring people, building the team, finding offices, building out a lab space. Um, but what really allowed us to get there was uh, you know, getting funding from mm -hmm. uh, investors and um, having the support from people yeah. believing in what we're doing. Yeah, so exciting to see your journey. <laughs> um, so where do you think your passion for this stems from? Uh, it all started here at FIT, being exposed to all the waste that's produced in fashion, but also beyond um, and, and seeing firsthand what really happens in the industry mm -hmm. uh, and wanting to find an alternative to some of the toxic materials and substances that are used uh, today. And um, that's really what's, what's been the motivation. Yeah, it's definitely problematic. It's a big conversation today in the industry. Um, how do you think your experience at the college has helped you in your um, founding with the company. Yeah, FIT definitely cha uh, challenged students to juggle a ton of different projects at one time, um, but also learn how to plan for each mm -hmm. project and manage your time well. Um, so what we do today is goal setting mm -hmm. and planning and problem solving on the yeah. day to day. Um, and you know, having that goal in mind, working backwards from it uh, and breaking down each step. Yeah, that's awesome. So because Aljunit is still in its beginning uh, stages, how do you see the brand evolving? Where do you hope to see it in the future? We hope to see it in the products you're wearing. Yeah, I um, do too. <laughs> <laughs> but also beyond fashion and in, in the interiors mm -hmm. um, industry and in automotives, mm -hmm. wherever textiles are really found, we want this material to be accessible yeah. um, and usable. Yeah. Um, but we also want to continue researching. I believe there is so much potential in the biomaterials world. Uh, I want us to keep going with that. Yeah, I want to see it, like the more practical <laughs> side of things. Um, so I think based on everything you've said, we can all agree that Algenit is an innovative company. Um, do you have anything you'd like people to know about the biomaterials uh, industry? Yeah, it's really an in incredible industry and I encourage everyone to um, look into it and learn a little bit about it. Yeah. There are so many amazing innovations coming out in this field um, And you know one way to do it is just to to Google biomaterials and to yeah. read up on it But also talk to people about it. This is such uh, an important space and we're seeing a lot of brands and companies committing to sustainability um, and trying to incorporate all these different materials yeah. into their products So it's a conversation yeah. that is definitely yeah for um, sure. Have, like being had. Yeah, yeah, it's really fascinating. Um, so how can people find out more about Algenet? Um, find us on Instagram and Twitter <laughs> at Algenet. Um, check out our website, sign up for a newsletter, um, and feel free to email us. We have a generic email, hello at Algenet, and we'll get back to you. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being here. It thank was you. great having you. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on FIT's Unconventional Minds.